we thank the lord for giving you the eagerness to hear and learn the bible lessons daily these programs are sent every day to help those who do not get the time to read the bible systematically as well as those who have already read the bible several times yet desire to get reminded about the teachings of the bible in a clear and deep way in english and tamil languages these programs are being sent in both audio and script formats every day to help us grow in the knowledge of god kindly continue to listen read and be benefited by these lessons daily however these programs should in no way be used to replace the bible these are being sent mainly to encourage and motivate you to read and to study your own bibles regularly god bless you all learn the bible series program number 122 bible depths notes part 9 portion 1 pages 4 and 5 the book of hebrews lesson 2 hebrews 11 39 the author describes the achievements and the persecutions of many old testament faith heroes throughout this chapter he says that though they were all faith heroes they could not get their salvation completed without the believers they could not become perfect because salvation through lord jesus was not available to them during their during their days so a believer is in a more superior position than even any old testament faith hero hebrews 12:7 to 13 the author tells the believers not to get disheartened because of the persecutions why because they were only chastisements from god god cannot punish a believer after he goes to paradise so he permits him to get chastised or trained in this world itself therefore the believer must not get discouraged during his sufferings in this world a prostitute's child cannot be chastised by any man because no one can claim that he was the father of that child whereas in your family the father always chastises his son to make him disciplined god being the affectionate father of a believer also does the same thing and so at times of chastisements a believer should become only happy because it is a confirmation that he is a child of god after encouraging the jewish believers as above through various verses the author of hebrews wants them also of the dangers they would have to face if they still went back to judaism how hebrews 6 4 to 6 he says that if they backslided it would amount to they themselves crucifying the lord jesus once again and putting him to shame it would be impossible for them to get renewed again into repentance and so they must never backslide secondly hebrews 10:29 the author says the turning back to judaism would be equal to a believer pushing lord jesus down and stamping on him with his foot so he would get the most pathetic punishment from god the author motivates all the jewish believers through this book to realize their greatness over the angels and to live joyfully rather than going back to their old religion and getting punished by god this same truth also applies to every 21st century believer he should never backslide from an active faith life if he did it god's punishment would be very severe on him god willing let us learn the book of james in our next program god bless you all